5 Rejuvenating Soups for Postpartum Recovery Served by Women Around the World You probably spent the last 9 months or more focusing on a healthy pregnancy before welcoming a new child into the world, but how do you care for your health afterward? Your body will require extra assistance as it heals, whether you gave birth vaginally or through cesarean section. Specific nutrients like iron, vitamin B12, and folate, or folic acid, can promote replacement of blood cells that were inevitably lost during an injury, or an event like childbirth, according to Rachel High, Dew, an obstetrician and gynecologist and urogynecology fellow at Baylor Scott and White Health in Central Texas. Is there a way to accomplish it? Broths? Broths and soups are used in many cultures around the world to aid with postpartum healing. Soups and stews, according to Lizzie Swift, Mississippi, RDN, a registered dietitian in Montclair, New Jersey, are excellent nutrient-dense foods. In order to regulate hormones and develop blood, women need nutrients that are easily ingested and assimilated, she says. Eating healing soups and stews helps your body to employ its resources for healing and repair instead of wasting extra energy digesting raw roughage, explained Swick. Here are five soups from around the world that are believed to aid in the healing process following the birth of a child, as well as two more DIY soups for good nourishment. 1. Seaweed soup with added nutrients. During the postpartum resting period known as Sam Chil Il, Korean households frequently serve seaweed soup, or miyako. This time is set aside to allow new mums to recover from general pressures without having to deal with an influx of guests. Seaweed soup is also considered to be hydrating, which is especially useful while breastfeeding, according to legend. It also includes high calcium content, which helps to prevent bone loss usually associated with pregnancy and childbirth. Obtained iodine, which aids in the development of a baby's brain. High in fiber, which helps to prevent constipation. High in iron to prevent anemia and boost overall health. Seaweeds are some of the healthiest foods you can eat to support healthy glands like the thyroid and adrenals, explains Swick. Seaweed is also high in the following nutrients. Magnesium. Zinc. Potassium. Manganese. Copper. Omega-3 and Omega-6 necessary fatty acids. A, C, E, and B vitamins. Try this recipe from Korean Bopsang for a scrumptious miyakguk that is also high in protein. This recipe, created by a Korean mother, is likely to make you feel at ease and cherished. Iodine and seaweed levels The amount of iodine in a serving of miyakguk varies depending on the type of seaweed used. From 11 to 1989% of your daily value can be covered by a single sheet of seaweed. Source you can trust. Because high iodine levels might be harmful to a baby, always read the nutritional label before buying. 2. Soup with pork and vinegar. For postnatal healing, many Chinese people swear on eating a pork vinegar dish. The soup is usually made to aid mother's breast milk supply, but it is also frequently presented by family members to celebrate the arrival of a new baby. Boiled eggs are also frequently used as a source of protein. Adequate protein consumption is critical for tissue healing after injury and childbirth, explains Hai. If you have vaginal lacerations or a C-section incision, making sure your diets have enough protein, according to daily suggested amounts, can help you heal. Pork vinegar soup, as prepared by Mama Tong. It is a hearty soup made with ginger, pork feet, and sweetened rice vinegar. If you are watching your weight, Mama Tong suggests avoiding it during pregnancy and reducing your portions. 3. Tomato Soup with Fresh Herbs This cozy classic can be more than just a childhood favorite in the United States. You can turn an ordinary tomato soup into a cozy bowl that helps your body cope with oxidative stress and inflammation by adding fresh herbs and tastes. Herbs and spices are truly nature's medicine, add swick, and one of the simplest ways we can boost the nutrient richness in our diets. She suggests serving these alongside your soup. Basil, to help you feel better, particularly if you are suffering from the fourth trimester blues or postpartum depression, as many new mothers suffer from. Parsley, which aids in liver detoxification, and all new moms need a healthy detox especially as their bodies establish a new hormonal balance. Turmeric, a powerful anti-inflammatory that is beneficial for postpartum recovery. Garlic, because it has antimicrobial characteristics. 
Try Welcome Baby Care's Tomato Basil Soup for an easy recipe. Comfort, warmth, and wellness are the focus of this postpartum meal. 4. Chicken Soup, Caldo de Pollo. The first 40 days after giving birth in Mexican culture are known as the Quarantina, a period during which the mother is expected to just relax, feed, and enjoy her new baby. The 40-day period was chosen because it is thought that it takes 40 days for the mother's reproductive organs to repair and restore their normal shape after giving birth. Carrots and chicken soup, of any type, are frequently acceptable foods during the quarantina. Chicken soup was chosen since it is neither overly spicy or heavy for someone seeking to recover. Because there is no special chicken soup associated with the quarantina, we suggest tasting caldo de pollo, a typical home-cooked soup. Muy bueno, a food blog, refers to it as soul medication. Carrots, tomatoes, garlic, lime, and safflower are among the ingredients. 5. Fish Soup with Green Papaya Green papaya is a nutritional winner for breastfeeding mothers, according to Chinese and Vietnamese tradition. According to one study from 2001, women who ate 650 grams of pureed papaya or 100 grams of grated carrots had better vitamin A and iron nutrition, according to trusted source. That, because breast milk has very little iron by nature, this boost could be beneficial to both the baby and the breastfeeding mother. Papaya is also high in important vitamins and minerals, such as A, C, E, and K vitamins, to help boost immunity. Folate Magnesium Potassium Calcium Papaya's health benefits Vitamins can help increase your immunity Maintains electrolyte balance Helps to keep your blood pressure in check Increases energy levels Keeps your heart and muscles in good shape To gain all of the nutritional advantages of green papaya fish soup, combine it with other nourishing and delectable ingredients like red snapper, onions, garlic, and ginger in this dish. Pregnancy and papaya, be wary. While mature or cooked papaya is generally healthy, unripe or semi-ripe papaya can consume hazardous during pregnancy, according to both tradition and science. Source you can trust. Papaya has uterine stimulant qualities, and experts have discovered through animal experiments that big amounts can cause uncontrolled contractions and may be high risk, depending on one's estrogen levels. A high dose of papaya for someone weighing 150 pounds would be roughly 27.2 grams. Make your own soup custom. Many of the soup recipes we included above are designed to provide important nutrients for women who have recently given birth. Some critical amino acids can easily be depleted during times of illness or stress, add SWIC, therefore it is best to receive them from diet. Bone broth consumed in the form of therapeutic soups and stews, is a wonderful approach to strengthen your resistance to stress-related illness. You can also make your own collagen-rich bone broths and hearty vegetable soups if the recipes above do not appeal to you. Here are the basics for making your own delicious, nutritious soup. Bone broths high in collagen. Cooking with ready-made bone broth or preparing your own provides the same restorative advantages. Use chicken, cow, or fish bones as a base for a clear, light-tasting broth. Pork or lamb can also be utilized, although they will have a more gamey, rich flavor. Bone broths can aid with the following. Owing to the collagen consumption, maintaining your post-pregnancy glow. Adding amino acids to your diet, especially if you are not getting enough sleep or are dealing with chronic stress after childbirth. Swick recommends searching for wild or organic, pasture-raised, free-range, antibiotic and hormone-free meat and bones wherever you can for preparing your own soups. Yang's Nutritional Kitchen's recipe for healing oxtail soup is one nourishing alternative. This nutritious soup is made with ginger, mushrooms, goji berries and root vegetables, and is inspired by traditional Chinese medicine. Jessica Austin, a delivery doula, has created a chicken and egg birth broth that is a simple meal option for busy parents. This soup, made with store-bought chicken stock, is high in protein and collagen. In the postpartum phase, drinking this once a day can help your body with tissue healing and joint support. Vegetable soups that are high in nutrients. Any veggies you add to soups and stews, similar to meats, will receive the benefits of the vegetable's nutritional characteristics as well as any nutrient loss you would encounter with steaming or boiling methods, Swick explains. 
Vegetable broth is also considered to be particularly beneficial for new mothers recovering from a C-section since it encourages proper digestion, allowing the body to concentrate on healing. To begin, Swick suggests that you root vegetables such as carrots, parsnips, and onions, which are high in starchy carbs, vitamins A and C, dietary fiber and minerals such as potassium, calcium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. Butternut and acorn squash, which are high in beta-carotene and antioxidants. Dark leafy greens such as kale, chard, watercress and cabbage, which are high in folate, vitamin C and K, iron, magnesium, and calcium. All of these vegetables can aid to support healthy vision, reduce inflammation, and provide an abundance of mineral cofactors to your body. Try this vegetable broth recipe as a vegetable soup foundation or a tea substitute. Hai suggests taking a less time-consuming option if making batches of soup becomes too time-consuming. Discuss with your doctor if you should continue taking your prenatal vitamin for another one to two months after giving birth.